Hi everyone, Curtis here with Rain Hour Systems. And this is the MHP 75A above ground centrifugal rainwater pump. It's comprised of two components, a three quarter horse centrifugal pump and the PC-115A pump control. We put these together and once you connect this to your rainwater tank, it'll give you about 65 PSI and about 25 to 27 gallons a minute. What we're gonna do today is hook it up. I'm gonna test it as we do with all our pumps and uh, we'll connect it up and get it going. Okay, once the connections are made, the suction side from our tank, inlet, a discharge, which in this case, I'm just pumping back into our tank. We're just recirculating the water here, but this would be connected to your uh, yard hydrant or your irrigation, your sprinkler, your hose, what have you, with a, probably a valve of some sort to cut it off. Once you have those made, you simply plug the pump in. It's gonna start and begin pumping immediately. The flow will continue until such time as you close the valve. Let's say you've got an irrigation system, one of your irrigation valves closes, or if you've got a yard hydrant connected to it, you just simply close the spigot. You will see that the pump will run for a few seconds. It's gonna hold its pressure, in this case, 65 PSI, for approximately 10, 12 seconds, and then shut off. It'll sit in that condition right here until you open the spigot again. Pump starts back up. You water your plants or turn your irrigation on, whatever it is you need to do. Uh, pump continues to run as long as it has water. If you shut off the flow of water for any reason, say your tank runs out of water, um, it will try to run for a, a short period of time, but because there's no water flowing through the unit and we obviously don't want our pump to run dry, it's gonna shut itself off within about 20 seconds. Now, this will happen, and once it does, it will automatically retry again. Uh, every few minutes it'll retry until it possibly gets uh, some more water in the system. Um, if it never does get, like say if you've got a rain tank, perhaps maybe your rain tank will fill up uh, later that evening, it will try again. Uh, after 24 hours, it goes into a fault mode and you have to reset it manually. But that's the run dry protection that the pump control gives it. So if at any point you, for whatever reason, your, your water source is cut off from the pump, it, it will cut itself off and it won't damage your pump. Simply hit the restart, reset button again here. It's located on the front of the pump. Uh, this green dot, pump restarts as long as it's got water. Everything's fine, it's gonna run great. If it doesn't have water, it will, of course, go into fault again. That's the great thing about this pump. It does all this automatically for you. It's in a small, lightweight package. Uh, got good pressure, good flow, can handle most any irrigation system you may have out there. And uh, if anything should ever go wrong, you won't burn anything up. You won't have to, a situation where you gotta run dry on your pump and uh, and have to, to replace the pump. The pump has stainless steel impellers, uh, cast iron housing. The, uh, the connections are all one inch. The discharge is one inch, it's female. And the uh, it suction intake is one inch female as well. And that's it. 